good evening this time. We're on for yeah. a special time of Conscious Straight Talk with Katie mm-hmm. and Lindsay. Mm-hmm. Hi, my name is Katie Hutchinson, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I'm also a certified mediator. And I'm Lindsay Kearns. I'm the mama behind MalibuMamaLoves.com, and I'm also a certified conscious trauma-informed life coach. Right. 33% of U.S. citizens experience identity theft. Mm-hmm. That's a pretty astounding number. Yep. That means every year over 15 million Americans Mm -hmm. are affected by it, and one in five people in the EU are affected by Mm -hmm. it. In 2020, 2.2 million fraud reports alone were handled by the FDIC. That's insane. It's crazy. Yeah. And I myself had my my card stolen this weekend. I had my number stolen this weekend and had three charges times? made. Yeah, like three times. I think it's happened to me and it's it's a nightmare when it does happen. What's even awful. What's even scarier is that over a million child identity theft cases occurred in 2020. Yeah. So that means social security numbers, birth certificates, even grades, all are considered fair game to these yeah. creepy identity theft people. And I was asking Lindsay, I was like, grades? Why would they, why grades? And they she, want your credentials. She said they, they can yeah. get better jobs and they can get better government funding. And well, better. that is not fair because I worked hard for my credentials. That we all work hard, right? I know. Especially, I mean, I can't imagine having my child's identity stolen because that's like, Creepy. Your biggest work. Of course. Of <laughs> and course. to have all that blown. Exactly. You know, so it's really hard. And as technology evolves, so to do these criminals in a completely mm-hmm. parallel world. They mm-hmm. know how to get in there. Mm-hmm. And the big problem with identity theft is half the time you don't even know when it's happening. No, to you, you don't know because you have to check your bank every single day, yeah. which I don't do, but I'm telling you to do it and I'm going to start to do it. So at least if they rob your home, or they take away your car, you know that it's happened, yeah. right? Right. So, but identity... And you I, also have some line of defense against it too, right? If you're at home and true. you hear somebody robbing you, you can be like, you know, call that. You at least have a chance. With identity theft, you have no uh, chance. I don't know. I, I, if they come into your house, it's kind of scary. So but I, I mean, you have the opportunity to call 911 yeah, and like get and help. hide and try not to die. That would be fun. Okay. Um, but identity theft people often have, just like we said, no idea for a long time. So you yeah. never know that you're in danger until a, a crime has been committed. Yeah. And oftentimes if they've stolen your credit card or bank information, I think the, um, the debit card is the biggest problem. Yeah. People are out of the money. Yep. Although Chase is good. Chase, Chase is, is really good. good. I, as long as you can stop it right away. Mm-hmm. Um, this they just are happened good. to me. They charged $300 in Utah. I'm like, yeah. no, I live in Southern California. Yeah. There's no Not way. Utah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, and they, they, cause it was still pending. They were able to stop it right away and cut mm-hmm. the card. And now I have to wait for a new one. Mm-hmm. Fun stuff mm-hmm. and re hook up everything yeah. else. And that's nightmare. the thing when your debit card is hooked up but to an least, automatic pay yeah. for all your bills then you have to change that card. It's yeah. just a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. But so this is interesting that in 2020, identity theft cost people in the U.S. $56 billion. Lovely. And even more strangely, the majority, and I say strange because we, we do talk about this. Everyone talks about scams at some point in time. Mm-hmm. But the majority of losses occurred Mm -hmm. with direct interaction scams, meaning those phishing emails, those text Mm -hmm. messages that come that say, hey, you want an iPad Mm -hmm. or you've got a package delivery and then you click in and they're like, oh, put put 99 cents in. Oh my gosh, yes. So this just happened to me. Mm -hmm. I am not too great with this kind of stuff. And I, it said, you want a new Macintosh? I was like, oh my God, I want a new Macintosh. So I start entering this information and then it's like, you need to put your credit card information and blah, blah, blah. And I called my husband. I'm like, honey, we just want a new Macintosh. And they, I'm just putting in my credit. They only want 99 cents. He's like, are you insane? Are you literally <laughs> insane? He's yeah. like, this is a scam. Do not put your credit card and that in. that scam alone is worth $43 billion. Mm-hmm. That's how much they made in 2020. Out of the $56 billion, $43 billion was from that situation. Lovely. And, mm-hmm. you know, you think about the elderly, you think about the younger kids and that's who don't true. know. They get excited, the teenagers, oh, I won this, and they're yeah, putting it in. Yeah, that happened they're to my dad. How are these people it's disgusting. Someone becomes a victim every 14 seconds in yes. the United States. Credit card 
fraud is the most common form of identity theft. Yeah. Now, I read that interestingly, 30% um, or people that are on social media are 30% more likely mm. to have this happen to them. Mm-hmm. And most stolen um, identities, mm-hmm. they go towards government um, to apply documents, government documents, yeah. and government benefits, uh-huh. which I thought was just well, It makes shame. sense, though. Yeah. Californians are at the highest risk, like I said before, yeah. as they seem to be targeted. As this state has the highest amount of complaints, this yes. doesn't mean that we stop living and we hide. We just still have no. to go on. With there check are... those bank accounts every day. Well, there's plenty of things we can do to protect ourselves even just beyond that. The yeah. Securing our account numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know a big one is to get some form of security on your computer. Mm-hmm. Like what kind? Like there's M- McAfee uh-huh. is one that I've used. There's a great one at Staples. Uh-huh. I think it'll run you 30 to 50 bucks a year. And do you do this all? Much. Do you, do you do just do it online? online? They download it for you, and it will protect your information. They notify you immediately if something's wrong. The same with the bank. Mm-hmm. You know, I have it set up so that if like a weird purchase yeah. or a certain amount of money, I get notified. Yeah, that away. happens with me with Chase. That's how too. I found out on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. So, so, um, um, so emotionally, let me just talk about this a little yeah. bit. So this does cause PTSD because you're stressed out usually that this is going to happen again. It's because it's a pain. Like I said, we have to change all everything. And it's also similar to how we were talking about with the news and how that can create a type Mm -hmm. of anxiety, that worry, that concern Mm -hmm. that this could happen. Anxiety and depression. And so, you know, you you just have to keep living. You have to talk about it. That's the most important thing. Let things out. Don't keep them in your body. Keeping things in your body kills you. And don't hide your head in the sand. No. What you I don't want to do that. You want to be aware of what's going on. Keep an eye on your bank accounts. Keep an eye on your credit cards. Yeah. Don't, you know, I've stuck my head it's in the sand for a long period yeah, of time. So and I've been like, oh, what crap. the heck is that? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, this is unfortunately the world we live in where we have mm-hmm. to protect ourselves from people mm-hmm. like this. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we need to be aware of it. Yep. And emotionally, you need to take care of yourself. Right. And so after this, I'm going to buy McAfee. <laughs> oh, Staples has a good one too. Or no, it's not Staples. It's Best Buy. Oh, okay, Best it's Buy. It's Best Buy. They have that. I think it's like thirty dollars a year. It's supposed to be even better than McCaffrey. I haven't tried it yet, but yeah. Um, there, there are plenty of things you can do and emotionally talk to a therapist about it. Talk to and your friends. And just even just like let it, it out. Yeah. Just let it out. It helps so Don't much. Keep so. anything in your body. It's yeah. too. It's it makes you sick. <laughs> so, right, are you ready for a glass of wine? Yes. I think so. I think it's that time, you guys. I hope you have a great Monday evening. Mm -hmm. We'll see you back here Wednesday morning with more fun things. Yes, and share your stories about identity theft because we've been thefted. (laughs) I think almost every we've been thefted. Yeah, and give this video a like. We would totally appreciate it. Yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.